everyone, Dan here from the iPod Touch World, and today I've got a really awesome application to show you guys. It's called Gangster Vegas, and it's the next episode in the Gangster series. Now, I feel like this one, they've really honed in on some of the key gameplay functions, and they've really made it an enjoyable experience. You can jump straight into a quick play mode, and this will basically allow you to jump into some fun little uh, missions and stuff. And then when it comes to selecting the controls, you can have full control over your bikes, uh, your helicopters, your planes, and all of your water-based vehicles as well. And it's really great that you can have that freedom with the controls. You can change it to tilt functions or gesture functions. And with GTA 5 just around the corner, I thought that this would be a great application to show you guys. It is $7.50 in my local app store. I don't know how much it will be for everyone else around the world, but it is definitely worth the price. You will notice there are a lot of glitches and graphical popping and a few little things like that that do kind of ruin the game at times, but when it comes down to it, this game is just phenomenal and all those things and all those small little glitches really just get pushed away when you actually get into the full action of this game. I've noticed that a lot of things have been really customised for the mobile experience. When it comes to choosing weapons and vehicles and stuff, you can go into this menu here and you can actually select them and equip them then and there. You don't have to go to a store or to your house or whatever, it can happen then and there and it just makes the action continuous, you know, you don't really stop at any point. Now the most phenomenal thing about this application is the fact that they have crammed the most intense graphics into a mobile app. Uh, you can see when I jump in this car here, the gloss on the car looks brilliant. It basically competes with GTA graphics of an earlier date. Now when you jump into a car, that's where you really notice some of the glitches. When you pick up to a certain speed, you'll notice a lot of graphical popping. The map won't load fully, so things will pop as you're driving onto them and um, a few other small issues like that, but it doesn't really ruin the gameplay, you know, you don't get trees landing in front of you or anything like that. They've also implemented a ragdoll feel when you jump out of cars and stuff, and that does look really realistic. Obviously you get a little bit of glitching along the way, but you've got to remember this is all on a mobile device. Another thing that really shocked me was the destructible environment. You can destroy trees and poles and benches and, and it's just really amazing how much detail they've put into the game. Another thing that really amazed me was the voice acting and the overall story construction. This is all in a mobile game and they could have just gone with this amazing gameplay and just really fun elements, but they've really put a lot of effort into the voice acting and into the overall flow of the game. Make sure you have the available space on your device because this is over one gigabyte in size, but it does pack 80 fun-filled missions. Now this mission here I just have to beat the crap out of these guys, and the actual fighting mechanics is really fun as well. This guy is a martial arts expert, and you can just basically mash the button to destroy them, or if you hold it down he does some special attacks as well. And it's great that they've made, you know, just melee attacks and just basic hand-to-hand -hand combat really enjoyable within this game as well. Uh, you'll notice that the enemies won't really fight you if you're fighting one person, which I guess is a little bit annoying, it makes it very easy, but it is a very fun and time consuming game as well. Uh, you can see I've only done 4% so far, since this review I'm up to about 12% and I have been playing it for a while now. It is enjoyable just to run around the city and just have a little bit of fun exploring Las Vegas. They also have a really great soundtrack to accompany the uh, frantic gameplay along the way. And then on top of that you can upgrade your skills and your gear, and that's all through that pause menu where you can basically just select weapons, gears, skill, and your appearance of your character as well. Uh, you can customise, you know, the look of your car and fully upgrade your weapons along the way as well, which is a really great thing, you know, they've put so much effort into this game. I was reading a few of the other reviews and people are saying, oh, this isn't the best gangster game available, and you know, they could have done a lot more with it, but you got to remember that they have done a lot with this game, and it's amazing so far. Wait for the, the next iPad to come out with a little bit more power, or the next mobile device to come out. They're going to have a lot more freedom with this game. And you can see the, the gore is amazing as well. I'm just destroying these people down the sidewalk. So after massacring a few people, the cops have finally figured out that I may be a little bit of a threat. So I'm just going to steal their car and run away. You can see a very glossy design to the car. I'm sure they could have worked a little bit more on the design and made it look a little bit more realistic, but that's really just nitpicking. This game is great overall. And even though it is $7.50, I think this is the perfect game to get on your iDevice or on your Android device prior to the GTA 5 release. 
They've definitely put a lot of effort into this and I really have enjoyed the experience so far. I'm really excited to play through the whole game and experience basically the final scenes where I do get some of these nicer cars, tanks, some nicer planes as well and helicopters and it's going to be a really fun game. But that's the end of this review guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to subscribe, like and comment and also please make sure to have a great day. And also if you're really feeling generous, please make sure to share this video and make sure that a lot of people get to experience this game. Thank you.